guess what day it is today? <laughs> Number one, it's freezing for some reason. It's like overcasty sunny, sun came out to play, but it's freezing. It's seating day, baby. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't freaking wait. Let's put his garbage away for him. Doesn't need to drag it through the the crazy. We better put our garbage away too. How you guys doing? I'm refreshed, guys. I am refreshed. We just seated Rick's. Everything's going down nicely. I'm telling you, man. This is like the best time for everything. It's like so fun for me. <sighs> Nothing like it, baby. Okay, we'll just keep this out here for now because I got to get the wheelbarrow. Rick gave us some peat moss to give to other Rick. <laughs> oh man, Rick's is getting watered in too. Okay, real quick, let's take a look at ours. Oh my gosh. Is that even fair, bro? Is that even fair? Come on, bro. That's not even fair. A little bit of garbage in the alley. Like normal. Like normal. This was so fun yesterday, you don't understand. It was so fun. So fun. As you can see, they really did a number on this section right here. Really, really did a number on that section. And that's okay. That's okay. We'll fix that over time. We'll keep leveling after the seed pops through. He's watering three times a day. This is going to be a little too good. A little too good. Let me get set up. I bought more soil. I really don't like the Home Depot soil. I mean, I do. It just smells horrendous. So I got us some Cowlitz County, my favorite. That's my favorite soil. You guys ready? Let's do it. Yes, sir. To really get some nutrients going, we're gonna put some compost first and then soil on top of that. I mean, we're doing this right, baby. Also Cowlitz County. It's my favorite stuff, guys. That's mushroom compost. Told you it's going down. Pete Moss! If you guys are just tuning in now, and this is the first time you've come to the channel, we've already killed everything off. We have dethatched. We have mowed super low. We have aeration already in place. We filled in the ruts. I mean, we've done everything pre to this. So all we have to do now is compost, soil, flatten it down with the roller, and then seed. And then after we seed, a nice layer of peat moss to protect it from the elements, as well as birds, because for some reason, the birds love to eat this seed. It's luxury seed, what, what, what can you say, you know what I mean? So let's get it cracking. I'm gonna tune out for a little bit, put everything down, and if I find something that needs to be talked about, I will chime back in. Get your popcorn ready, baby. It, it's time, it's time. April 15th, game over. This is gonna be one of the best lawns in the neighborhood. I guarantee it.
I mean, look at how fine that is. Look at the quality. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, bro. Look at this. Flawless, bro. out right now I'm jamming out to some EDM it's Coachella weekend and I'm here in Washington State I want to be in California again everyone's at Coachella <laughs> just kidding I'd rather be here I mean as much as I love hanging out with celebrities and stuff it's really not that cool they're just regular people that are skinnier than you and depressed <laughs> all right my dudes this is pre-germinated seed let me show you what we're working with guys I don't know about y'all but I say this multiple times if you are doing all this work, why are you planting store-bought seed? Huh? To get more weeds? So it lasts two years and then you have to overseed again? No, get the elite stuff. This is blackout. This is what we're planting in this yard right now. The vote is Kentucky Blue and Perennial Rye only. We don't wanna add any turf type tall fescue. I still have to plant it and see what it looks like. See if it can blend with these ridiculously dark cultivars. I mean, naturally dark cultivars. There's no if, ends, or buts about it. This is the seed you have to go with. And I'm not selling you on this. This is just what I use. Zero weed seeds, hat trick, fireball, right Kentucky, and moonlight. He's gonna have the darkest lawn in the neighborhood. I don't have Kentucky blue in mine. I just have perennial rye. We have a pre-germ right here. It's been pre-germinating for five days. Amazing. Now you're thinking to yourself, how are you gonna spread that if it's all sticky and moist. Well, I'm gonna show you. Let me show you peoples. Get yourself a wheelbarrow. Here's your spreader. Oh man. Ladies and germs. Again, I only rock stuff that I use. Listen guys, I don't have any affiliate links to this. I just use it. I only practice what I preach. And this seed, okay, the hat trick and fireball, I've already used. Let alone the Kentucky bluegrass. I mean, I can't wait to see that in as long because I don't have Kentucky yet. Get your seed. Do it right now. Let's take a caller. Yard bra. We have a caller. Caller? Yard bra. Oh my God. I love this seed. Yes. It's yes. literally the best. You like it, huh? It, it's, it's nice and dark. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so what you want to do is get some of your pre-germ seed and put it in. Five-day pre-germ, dude. This seed's going to go off, bro. This is the shit. Don't get it twisted, Aunt Jemima. Again, we miss you. Pearl Milling Company, get the hell out of here. Okay, here is some pre-germ seed, right? Put a little bit in there. This is what's called a carrier. I use professional grade melorganite. There's a hole in this one, that's why I put it in a bag. See, it's already leaking on us. So, put a little bit of Milo in there, right? And then, you get your bow staff, okay? Not only does this mix seed, you can also beat someone's ass with it. <laughs> Go ahead and mix it up just a little bit. There's your first layer. Go ahead and put some more seed in there. Nice little layer cake. It's like we're making a seed lasagna. Okay, oh, get some more malorganite down. That's gonna soak up all that moisture and that's gonna make it easier for you to spread this seed that's really sticky and wet. Layer cake, baby. Go ahead, a little bit more seed. I mean, we're gonna go heavy because this is a new seating. This is a brand new seating. We're gonna go heavy. Mm -hmm. Now for the size of his yard, this should be plenty. This is about, I'd say three pounds. Let's go a little bit more just in case. And I have some of this pre-germ seed. I was planning ahead so I could put some more seed on Rick across the street. He doesn't know that I was gonna do this for him. Get that all mixed up. Nice and good. Nice and good. 
Oh, buddy. Yes, sirree, Bob. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of what we're doing over there. We got to fill up our roller. That way we can smush everything down real quick. And this Malorganite's really going to absorb all that moisture, like I said earlier. Just phenomenal, dude. I can't wait to see this Kentucky bluegrass. Everything's super level. There's no more ruts. We're going to flatten it down. I filled in a lot of those aeration holes that weren't filled in yet. They're filled to the brim. Look at that, guys. Check that out. A little bit of whatever that was. Check this out, guys. Check this out. It doesn't get any better than a pre-germinated elite seed mixed in with our favorite Malorganite, little Milwaukee's best, and just creating a little, nice little seed salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right now that we're waiting for that this my friends is a lawn roller this is going to flatten everything out squish it down compact it just a tad yo it's about to rain i told you rain or shine it's gonna go down I know what you're thinking. Yardbra, I've watched your channel and you have so many processes. Why can't you just pick one? Well, that's just boring. You know, you need variety. So if you're asking which one should I do, pick one. It all works. <laughs> pick one, my dude. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, you should put some sand in here. Nope. Because if you store this with sand, it's gonna flatten the bottom. And then what? And then what? Tell me, you're not gonna have a rounded Lawn roller. <laughs> okay, you usually have to put it in there deep. You gotta really go deep, cause it's gonna like fling around. You'll hear it. Let's wait for that. I let it, you know, overflow a little bit. We call this laying your edges. <laughs> oh hell no. Keep it clean, baby. God, you guys don't understand how sick this is gonna be. His lawn is so flat right now, super level. Look at that, bro. That's that's some freaking professional. That's better than professionals. This is boutique, bro. Personal attention to his lawn, just like it's mine. Now there's a bunch of roots here. I can't do anything about that. I could just keep on adding soil and adding soil, but that's not gonna help, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Insane. Insane. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Looks straight up like our lawn when I freaking took everything out. I'm just trying to provide as much nutrients as possible. Just as much nutrients as possible. This is gonna be so good, I'm telling you. It's gonna be so nice. So guys, I'm gonna take a quick break. We're gonna lay down the seed in a second. We're gonna put some peat moss down. We don't have to fertilize because that carrier is malorganite. That's a fertilizer in its own. We are gonna fertilize in 15 days. He's gonna be watering three times a day for the next month. I don't think you understand. We got lawns popping off right now. This is slowly dying. I freaking love it. This is on its way. This is gonna be so good too. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put her in the spreader. So I just use a bucket or my little gallon pitcher. 
Scoop it up, put it in. Oh my goodness, guys. That is a treat. That is so much seed. <laughs> Look at that. See how it just dried it up a little bit? My gosh. With the Milo? Come on, bro. You can't beat this. You cannot beat this combination. You know when they have a cruise ship or a ship and it's the first time it's like set in sail and they crack the champagne? That's what I feel like we should... <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let the epicness commence. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just f calm down! Oh my goodness. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. We got a seed here too, because it's dead. So sorry, but we have a little Kentucky in ours. It's tainted. Okay. That's good coverage, let's move on. I can't believe we're doing this right now.
testing. Bruh, my phone keeps dying. This is the newest one too. Incredible. I gotta figure out a camera situation because it keeps dying on me. I keep missing footage. We just missed an epic conversation with me and Rick. He's talking about New York and stuff and man, hella cool, hella freaking cool. I went to New York and that's why I dress like the way I dress because I picked that up from New York. Crazy, he's from Harlem. Insane, or sorry, he's from Queens. Same place as LL Cool J. <laughs> So, we uh, put down a bunch of peat moss. I'm going to lay the edges again. A bunch of seed everywhere. Now, I know what you're thinking. You were laying that seed down thick. Uh, we always lay it down thick. Because you're not gonna lay down three pounds and then have a sparse lawn in 30 days. I want this thick in 30 days. After 30 days, if it gets too thick, you verticut. That's the solution. Oh, it's gonna be clumping, they're gonna compete. You see my, my lawn competing? No, they're working together. Come on now, look at that. It's always golden hour, baby. Always golden hour. Lay your edges. Clean situation. And the last one, my dudes, the last one. Here we go. Can you believe it? Can you freaking believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> it is fully seeded, fully peat mossed, looking all flat, looking all awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. Seeding day complete. Kentucky bluegrass and perennial rye. Oh, that's done right. It's gonna look right. It's gonna look so good. Come on, bro. As you can see, it's windy as all hell today, but that's okay, because we got peat moss and we're about to water it in. So, let me text Rick real quick, tell him to put some water on our situation, and then we'll be good. Wow. Wow, no words, zero words. Oh, I better do this section real quick. I'm gonna charge the phone for a little bit cause we still got to film the water and then I am going to edit forever. I still gotta edit Rick's video and then we're gonna edit this video. Stay tuned guys, some epic stuff literally happening. Amazing, I'm having a blast right now. So fun, so fun. So I'm gonna clean up, charge this phone, and I'll see you guys in a second. Rick, it's leaking. Your quick, your quick release is leaking. Can we take it off? I can take the quick release off and then... Thank you. From the quick release. I don't know why. Yeah, let me grab my tools real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Right, right. <laughs> I, I just adjusted my front one. It was watering my door. <laughs> That's leaking bad. I'll be right back. Let me go mess with it. I think so, I, I have extra. Dude, it's already dark. Me and Rick were fixing the damn sprinkler heads. They are good to go now. Sorry if it is blurry. It's pretty much nighttime. We're getting watered, 30 days, it's game over. I'm telling you right now. The way we did this is the normal way we do things and we added more nutrients. Oh my gosh. Game over, bro. Game over. Let's get some before action. Let's get some before action right here. I'll get some drone footage tomorrow. I gotta cut that down for him, cause it's not quite hidden. And we gotta hit the corner. I was gonna overseed the back. I have to save that for tomorrow. Let me show you what we're working with. I feel bad cause I have Rick's wheelbarrow with the peat moss. It's freezing guys. It's freaking cold. It's cold as balls. All right, so we got this going here. 
we got the seed here and I really need to plant everything but it's freezing right now I'm gonna wait till tomorrow we have everything good to go I think I can just leave it here I don't care if there's a rut or something from my head oh, no I'm gonna put it over here I don't like anything on the grass <laughs> I'm like I'm just weird like that hold up freezing guys freezing looks nice freezing my dudes I am so tired like tired tired because we just did Rick's across the street we did Rick's next door and my body is done the nice thing is I have two videos to edit. So I have a day off tomorrow, but you're still gonna get content. And then the next day you're gonna have content because I'm gonna edit that as well. So I'm gonna have pretty much two days off and then I'm gonna see this tomorrow. So that it'll, it's gonna be flowing, but I'm gonna be resting too. So, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I don't think I understand. 30 days, game over. But as you can see, the temperatures are super low, super frustrating, and it's all good because it'll be warm in the next couple days. Can't wait. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Amazing support. You guys are the best. <sighs> Seriously, you're amazing. You're all amazing. This is so fun. I'm just a little tired and that's okay. I'm going to take a freaking Epsom salt bath. I'm going to just recover and I'm just going to edit for you guys. These two next, these next two episodes, nasty, nasty. Rick's episode and Rick's episode. Game over. You guys are the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.